Chris, I have to go. Fully no. Hmm. Hmm. Talk trip. Talk. 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 Hmm. Up. Hmm. Three seventy four point five eight more. Do not. Petrol, I think I have to go and shoot them. 180.6 divided by 4.58. 39.4 kilometers per liter. Come on. Hello, Rim Rim Bay. I'm going to view you here. Folks, this is the Honda Hornet 2.0, the second generation of uh, Honda Hornet 160R. Now it has grown up to 184cc. That's giving out 17. Point, around 17.2 PS of power. Still got that. Uh, air cooled engine but uh, it's got the slight uh, cosmetic changes and let's see how it goes Really like the sound that's coming out from the engine, that induction roar. Handling is really nice. It's really precise for a naked bike.
one five is quite fast and the rider is good let's see how I handle the corners slow down here oh that was great let's slow down here because there's lots of uh, people the handling is so uh, for a naked bike I think uh, this is the best handling bike that we've uh, tested in uh, 2020 uh, it's great I was uh, like I really wanted a little bit more power but uh, this is I mean it's great it's enough if it's uh, really faster I think the chassis and the, the suspension can handle it it's got an upside down fork really nice and let's see again They don't leave much room for us, yeah? Let's go down here. Let's see if I can catch him again. really great as I was saying I want a little more power from this uh, air cooled engine but this is also okay and uh, the brakes are also okay not that great but uh, they're okay tires are maxes I think this bike comes with uh, maxes and uh, MRF this one comes with maxes this is okay uh, 
on slightly bumpy roads it feels a little uh, hard but uh, on really nice uh, paved road it's grip is okay so overall it's a really nice bike to ride uh, and I especially like the handling characteristic, uh, characteristic in the corners because for a naked bike it's really it can really handle high speed cornering oh. uh, this is a naked uh, street bike so maybe it's not supposed to be ridden like this but uh, anyways we are riding it <laughs> and uh, we've feel that it's one of the best handling a naked bike in the market right now definitely not the fastest uh, in the 200 category but uh, it's one of the best handling bike there's uh, gravel in the corner so I have to take a slight evasive action engine sound is really nice and uh, it's giving around 39 kilometers per liter <laughs> that's really great and you can see how we are riding it now so I think if you are pottering around 50 60 kilometers per hour it'll definitely go beyond uh, 40 kilometers per hour the mileage uh, for not 40 kilometers per hour but 40 kilometers per liter sorry I don't know why there's lots of trucks today This is a really really sweet handling bike and the upside down forks really works great uh, it's giving uh, the maximum power at around 8500 rpm and I don't think uh, it's uh, you need to rev till 8500 to you know it feels a little stressed after 8000 so better shift uh, at around 8000 What's happening today? The right feels a little stiff uh, for a really really committed uh, oriented guys they might feel the suspension is a little stiff but uh, for us uh, for sport riding fans uh, this is a great uh, bonus because it really handles handles like a dream uh -huh. The brake feel is also nice. You can really trail brake at, uh, on the corners. Uh, engine is really tractable. You don't have to rev it that high to get to get the uh, power. Power builds up from around 4,000 till around 8,000. So that's a wide range of uh, power. And it looks quite nice. gearbox is really slick not much vibration from the engine 
We are driving till past 9,000 plus, but we, actually we are really going quite fast. You don't, for normal riding, you don't have to rev it that high, no? I think uh, three or four times I've missed uh, an upshift on this bike. Maybe that's because it's a new bike, I don't know. Lots of gravel in the road. Have to be really careful. Wow! <laughs> Even the the four wheelers are driving really fast today. <laughs> Let's slow down here because lots of people. For around uh, 1.4 lakhs, almost 1.5 on road. This is a really good bike if you if you want uh, a good looking naked bike sub 200 cc with great handling uh, good uh, overall working brakes a good performance from the engine but uh, really really commuter friendly the riding position is really comfortable so that'd be great for commuting plus if you want to go for a slight uh, touring also that'd be great but if you're looking for a you know slightly faster naked bike uh, i'm sure there are much faster 200 cc or uh, sub uh, 200 cc bikes um, around 200 cc bike naked bike much faster than this but if your preference is not an all-out uh, guns blazing going fast this is maybe one of the best option or this is one of the best option you'll have uh to give you the best of both worlds comfort power looks and uh it's not that expensive and as i said it's really uh fuel efficient as well of course this is honda no honda it's always honda <laughs> uh not always a big fan of honda but uh this bike really speaks to me because uh, it handles really great uh, for us uh, even if it's not that powerful if it handles really great then it always uh, gets a lot of praise from us because we like to go slightly fast in the corners uh, safely <laughs> i'd like to add that as well so i'm really enjoying this uh, this is winter time it's really cold now and uh, the tires uh, are standing up really great to the conditions because it's uh, when it's cold the tire loses a lot of grip come on man what the hell but uh, this maxis tire really works great uh, yesterday i was riding it uh, at a not so good uh, road on that uh, it was slightly jarring so i was thinking maybe it's because of the tire or maybe the suspension is slightly stiff yeah the suspension is suspension is slightly stiff it's sporty but uh, not that sporty to bother you know like people with uh, commuting in mind but uh, for a sport riding fan to give it a good advantage so it's it's a good balanced bike so i'm thinking maybe the jarring effect is slightly down to the tire i really want to ride the bikes that comes with um, mrf tires to see the difference this is not a bad tire at all but i just like to feel the difference see you can really trail brake on the corners because uh, you need to trail brake a lot on these corners because as you can see the corners are full zigzag and lots of uh, vehicle you cannot always choose the fastest line my friend is riding an r15 he's at the back and uh, compared to an r15 yeah the power uh, especially on the high rpm it's losing uh, power but uh, it can hold its own on the corners uh, compared even compared to the r15 which is one of the best uh, handling 
bike in India sports uh, sports biking wise uh, regarding corner speed so especially in this uh, type of uh, narrow zigzag roads R15 is the king but uh, for a naked bike this is for this uh, bike's performance is really really respectable so um, that's our review of the on the on it 2.0 uh, we'll be giving out a detailed review in our native language in Mizo uh, we might be able to add some uh, subtitles if you want to watch the review videos so stay tuned and thank you all for watching yeah okay and now uh, don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> again thank you all for watching and uh, we really enjoy making this type of videos so i'm sure you guys will also enjoy watching this video thanks again yeah ciao